Welcome back. Hoping to inspire you to read your Bible every single day. Zero excuse. And well, I hope it's working. It's Tuesday. Acts chapter 3 all week long. Verses 1 all the way down through 7. Man, it's going to be a good one today. Let's jump right in and get in. New Living Translation. Here we go. Peter and John went to the temple one afternoon to take part in the 3 o'clock prayer service. As they approached the temple, a man, lame from birth, was being carried in. Each day he was put beside the temple gate, the one called the beautiful gate, so he could beg from the people going into the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to enter, he asked them for some money. Peter and John looked at him intently, and Peter said, Look at us. The lame man looked at them, eagerly expecting some money. But Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, get up and walk. Whew. Sounds really spiritual, doesn't it? Peter going in and all of a sudden a miracle happens, but here's my take on it. I don't even think Peter was looking for a miracle that day. As a matter of fact, had the lame man not called out begging, Peter and John probably just would have walked on by just like everybody did every other day. I always hear people ask this question to me, why don't we see miracles like we see in the book of Acts? And I think a lot of times it's just because we don't even expect to see miracles. We're always just busy about life. So Peter and John, three o'clock, going to pray like every other day, spiritual that is, going to go into the temple and well, do what they do every single day, walking past the same lame man every single day, just like everybody else, with really no expectation at all until the man calls out and says, hey, listen to it again of what he said. He said, when he saw Peter and John about to enter the temple, he asked him for some money. This is just my take. I think Peter was just going to walk on by because he had no money to give the guy and thought, what's the use? I don't have anything to give him anyway. I don't have any silver or gold. As a matter of fact, I don't even have time to stop. <laughs> I don't even have time to stop and talk to the guy because prayer starts in just a minute. And I, well, I'll see him tomorrow probably because he's here every day. And well, maybe I'll bring him a little money tomorrow. So maybe like all of us, he just walked on by assuming it was someone else's responsibility Somebody else will probably take care of the need because I'm busy, <laughs> busy being spiritual. I mean, I've read my Bible, I've prayed, I've gone to church, I gave God my tithe, even gave an extra five in the offering. Mm, man, that makes me feel spiritual. I even watched some Christian TV and well, I've got the latest praise music on my phone. <laughs> me and God are like this, but I walk past people every day wondering why don't miracles happen? Well, I don't even have any money to help him anyway. What good could I do? And I think Peter just sets the example for all Christians today. If we get so busy about being religious, we can walk right past the opportunity. Thank God the lame man said, hey, can I have some money? And Peter goes, I don't have any money to give you. And then I think in that moment of time when the opportunity came about, when Peter realized that Perhaps this was different than any other day. That perhaps this moment and this time was different than any other day. Peter said, look, I don't have any money. And I think he was being really honest. I think that's what lends me to believe he was just going to walk on by anyway thinking, I don't have anything to give him. But as soon as the lame man said, hey, can I have some money? Peter stopped and said, well, maybe this is my opportunity and Peter went away he had never gone before, and he introduced him to the power of Jesus Christ. I think a lot of times we're just sitting around waiting on Jesus to do something, walking past opportunities every day, walking past thinking it's someone else's responsibility, somebody else is going to bring the revival. Well, there's nothing I could really do anyway because I'm super busy. <laughs> I don't have time for this guy. If I stop and help him, man, I'm going to be late for prayer. If I stop and help him, what good could I do anyway? Because our expectation is only in material things. Thank God Peter set the precedent for us that even when I don't have anything spiritual, even when I'm in a hurry, even when my whole schedule is booked up and I have somewhere to be, if I'll just open my ears and listen, there may be a miracle waiting to happen. 
So I leave you with that today. What's the thing in front of you This begging for you to slow down, begging for you to stop and listen, begging for some help, and you have the answer. Is it the same person you walk past every day? Is it the same barista at the coffee shop? Is it the same person that sits next to you every day at work? How about the same waiter or waitress? How about the same teacher, the same friend, but with no expectation for anything to happen? We just get in the routine schedule of doing life every day, and even doing it religiously with zero fruit for anything supernatural. Acts chapter 3, what a great book. Hey, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Come back. It's going to be a blast.